Hi there, I'm Roma Waterman, professional vocal coach, and today we are going to talk about how we can improve our pitch when we sing. You might find that you're singing flat or you're singing sharp and getting really frustrated when you do that. So let me teach you some tips that can help you improve your pitch. We're going to break it down into two realms of singing. So the first one is we're going to talk about developing your musical ear. That's the first way you can improve pitch. We're going to, I'm going to give you some exercises around that. And then Secondly, we're going to talk about some of the physiological implications of singing flat and sharp and how you can do some simple exercises to improve that, open the soft palate and, and really improve your breathing. So let's start with developing your musical ear. Why is that important with pitch? Well, a lot of times people that have pitch issues, it's a hearing issue. It's not actually a singing issue. It's because you're not listening the way that you should. Now, that doesn't mean that you're deaf or you're having trouble hearing. It it just means you're not listening for the things that will help you improve your pitch. So for example, some people listen to one style of music all the time and sometimes that can really affect how your ear hears music. So for example, if you're listening to rock all the time, the focus is on drums, bass, that kind of genre is drums, bass, electric guitar. And that has different frequencies to it as opposed to say orchestral music or classical music, which is strings and the pitch is very different for that, for that type of genre. So what would happen if you started to listen to different styles of music? It would help improve your musical ear. So firstly, listening to different styles of music will really help develop your musical ear, which in turn will help improve your pitch. But secondly, when you start listening to these styles of music, start to think about what you're hearing. So, you know, for example, a, a jazz tune, you might be listening, you might be really focused on listening to the person that's singing and listening to their voice because it's very engaging and that's the focus of that particular song. Well, start to listen to different instrumentation that's happening in the song. So what's the bass line doing? Play the song through and have a listen to what the bass line's doing. What's the guitar line doing? What are the backing vocals singing? What are the high parts doing? What are the low parts doing? What's the string around? arrangement doing. So having a listen to the different instrumentation that creates the whole song really helps develop your musical ear and it's amazing how that affects your singing. The other way to improve your musical ear is to do some oral testing. Now if you've had singing lessons before or you've done exams before you might have done this but it's basically I'm going to play two notes. I'm going to play the one and the five in the chord and it'll sound like this. And what I'll often get students to do is turn their back and I'll say, I want you to sing the high note. Ah, so you've really got to listen because you've got two notes happening at once. And then I might say, well, this time I want you to sing the low note. So learning to hear when two notes are happening at once is really helpful. Now, of course, if you don't play an instrument, this is going to be difficult. You can actually ask a friend to do it for you, or you can do it with me now. I'm gonna give you two more, okay? So I want you to sing the high note here. I want you to sing the low note here. And that note is Another way to improve your pitch is with imagery. Voice imagery is what I call it, or placement imagery. So thinking of notes different than what they are. For example, when you're going to sing really, really high, a lot of people will think, oh, that's just impossible to reach. And they start stretching and putting tension in their throat and they're reaching for this impossible note. As you can hear, I'm singing really, really flat when I do that. I'm trying to reach for the note. Or they'll be singing really sharp because they're pushing as hard as they can to hit that note. So what would happen if you change the way that you think about that note? You will probably hit it with a much more ease. So I think like this, for example, if I'm going to sing high, I imagine that a note is a tiny little ant that's at my feet. So I'm looking down at this note and instead of thinking up like a ladder, I'm going Ah, ah. 
So I'm thinking of the note as not being this big scary note that I can't reach. I'm actually thinking of it as this small tiny thing. Now if you're wanting to sing low and having trouble singing low notes, obviously you wouldn't think like that. Maybe you'd think of something particularly high. So if I'm having trouble singing low notes, for example, I think of singing up in the clouds. So I think of a note being as high up in the clouds as possible and I go for that note. So let's imagine it's an F below middle C and instead of thinking ah, oh, which is quite hard to do, I think of it being at the top of this cloud and it sounds like this. So changing the way you think really helps you hit your notes. Let's talk about some of the physiological aspects of singing in pitch. Why are you not singing in pitch? What can you do to make your body help you sing in pitch? Really simply, the major issue with pitch is usually because people are not breathing correctly. So it's all about breath support, using your voice to support your breath. Here's two exercises I'm gonna give you to help you with that. The first one is learning to breathe from your diaphragm, putting your hand on your diaphragm here. So I'm gonna stand up for you, one hand here. What I want you to do is take a deep breath in and I want you to feel your hand expanding out as you breathe in. So it's It's really, really simple, but what you're doing is you're using a shh sound to push that air out of your body. It's really important that you're feeling that movement in the diaphragm area as you do that. And so as you do this exercise, it goes like this. You do one shh, shh, then two, shh, 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 again, shh. That's developing your breathing apparatus to help you support the voice. Now, once you've got your breathing happening like that, how do you connect it to singing? Well, the same action that you are using to breathe in that exercise is the same action you should be using when you're singing. It, when you're singing, it's just at a lesser degree. So you're not going, ha, 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 but you are using down here. It's almost like a laugh. It's that feeling, that action of using the breath to create sound. So it's, instead of ah or ah as soon as I do that I can hear that I'm singing flat so using your breath to support your voice is really important finally one of the best ways to correct pitch is using correct vocal placement now there's some exercises that I can give you that bring your tone forward into the mouth in here you're using your breath to support your voice but you want the sound to be forward not in the throat and this will really help your pitch the first exercise that I usually give people to help them with that is it's really simple it's a sob you're going to imagine that you're crying and you want to feel the vibration of your voice all in here so I'm using my breath support to do that. Very similar to the shh exercise. And I'm feeling the vibration of that boo-hoo right in here. And that's where I want you to feel it. So it's not boo-hoo-hoo, boo-hoo-hoo, boo-hoo. There's lots of resonance happening when I sing that, when I sing that sobby sound. And then what I want to do is I want to put my notes there. So boo-hoo-hoo. So the sob sound is a great exercise for getting your pitch in the right spot. Here's another placement exercise for you that's really great. Imagine that you're an opera singer and you're singing in that sobby spot again and it's just V instead of V or V in the throat. You're putting a sob into the sound. V. These exercises are great because you're correcting your placement. You're putting your voice where it's supposed to go, not in the throat and breathy or pushed. Now that V, that consonant is really important and so is the B in the boo-hoo. A B and a V are really great for bringing your voice forward into the mouth at the front of the where the teeth is here and it will also naturally raise the soft palate so you're creating more room to create sound so I hope those tips help you developing your musical ear 
developing your breathing and correct placement will help your pitch. Have fun!